Hey, Coach, um, um, I know they got to Gabe a bit today, but it also seemed like you made some really big pitches to get him out of what jams could have been a lot worse. Can you talk a little bit about his start and then weigh in, if you could, too, on just how dominant Ty and Mike Matt were to close out? Yeah, yeah. They got to Gabe early. There's no doubt he was trying to establish his fastball, and they did a really good job. As I said, uh, this team really battles at the plate. I mean, it's it's a hard out to get. Um, with two strikes, they're really looking to put the ball in play, and uh, and we had to make some adjustments. Uh, Gabe made some really good adjustments, and uh, I always tell the starting pitchers, uh, if you can uh, give us a chance to win, um, that's that's the ultimate goal as, as we take the rubber. Um, Ty came in and did a great job. Um, obviously established, established his fastball and uh, was really aggressive with it, and uh, that's all we can ask out of Ty. Uh, and then Lit, I mean, he just comes in and does his job, um, doesn't get in trouble, goes after the hitters, and uh, really dominated today. Carl and then Griffin. Uh, Coach, uh, can you just talk about the uh, the hitters today, the hitting approach? Uh, things seem to get you know gradually better over the course of the weekend. Just uh, can you reflect on that? Yeah, um, we stayed the course. Um, I think we had a really good report coming out uh, with the pitcher today. Uh, we really wanted to to utilize uh, gap to gap today, and uh, and our guys did a great job of doing that. Um, even when we got to two strikes, I felt like we really did a good job of making adjustments. Uh, even though we did have some strikeouts here and there, um, guys really did a good job, and, and it was a it was a really good team effort. Again, I tell guys, whatever you can do to help the team at least one time in a game. Um, and each and every individual on the, in that lineup helped in some capacity, whether it be a sacrifice fly or, uh, or, or, or a base hit or, uh, or hey, kind of the last, the last uh, ball that Hopkins hit was actually a hit and run um, that the runner didn't go, and uh, he ends up hitting a home run. So uh, I told him, next time uh, you're up to the plate, I don't care if anybody's on base or not, you're going to hit run. Griffin and then Ari. Yeah, Coach, the bottom of the, line, of the lineup was really effective today. What did you just kind of see from those guys and, you know, some of those guys like Colin that hadn't had too much success yet at the plate this season? Yeah, I tell you what, um, in that second inning, the, the hit that Jeremy got was, was really important for us. Um, got us back to even. And, uh, and all day, he, he really had a good approach. It, it, the same thing with Colin and everybody. Again, we, we really emphasize staying through the middle of the of the field today, and uh, everybody did a great job with that. Um, and we're going to continue to do that. And uh, Jeremy, that was a big piece to, to today's success. Ari, and then back to Tom. My question is: is based is that you had Justin Walker before as a player, and now you have Jeremy Houston. Obviously, Houston was a big part with that hit you mentioned, but then Justin Walker rounded into the double play, which was a huge moment. I don't want to use the word vindicated, but how good is it to have Houston still on your team with Walker not on the team anymore and transferring to Purdue? I'll tell you what, uh, Justin's a fantastic human being, and he's a, a very good baseball player. And uh, I'd love to have both of them on our team, to be honest with you. Um, I'm glad we got Jeremy. and uh, but, but Justin, I take nothing away from him. He's a really good baseball player, and he's a fantastic human being. Tom and then Carl. Coach, um, obviously a big game for Colin today, and uh, he's been struggling through his first few weekends. What's uh, How easy can a day like today sort of turn his uh, approach around at the plate and uh, see some big things going forward? Yeah, I think as a hitter, uh, just, just to get success, just to feel that success really can drive you uh, to continued success. So I think today is going to help him. It's going to give him the confidence, he, confidence that he needs uh, to keep performing well. And uh, he just needs to stay the course. I mean, we don't panic. We, we put our work in and, uh, and things like today can really uh, leap, leap progress forward. Last one for Carl. Uh, Coach, was it predetermined that Lit Wiki would make an appearance today, uh, that he would get a second appearance on the weekend? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, the game dictated um, if he was going to throw or not. Uh, he was ready to go. He said he was good to go. He was fresh. Um, so it's, it's always nice uh, to get your closer in there with an opportunity to, to win the game. So, All right. Thank you, Coach Held. You are. All right. We've got shortstop Jeremy Houston. We'll start off with Tom and then head to Carl. How are you guys? Good, Jeremy. Good to see you. Nice game today. Um, 
how you guys had that nice eight game streak. Things are going well. So when you when you lose one yesterday, uh, was there a little bit more of a sense of urgency coming to the park today to to get back on the right side of things again? Uh, definitely. You know that yesterday was a tough game. And, uh, you never like losing to Purdue, but honestly, you just never like losing. Period. But um, it was definitely a bad taste in our mouth, and we wanted to come back. Uh, we had a little meeting before. And, um, came back and we handled our business. We played together. And honestly, I think that's what uh, we focused on today, especially with the offense. Uh, our pitching staff have been, have been doing a hell of a job. And um, we just needed the offense to just pick it up a little. And I think we showed what we could do today if we just uh, come together as a team and uh, play as one. Carl, then Ari. Uh, Jeremy, you seem to be uh... – making your impact at the right times this season. Um, of course, you're, you're doing your typical thing of seeing a lot of pitches, but recently you've really come through towards the end of those at-bats. Can you talk about, uh, about you know, making things happen at the end of these at-bats? Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm just trying to stay within myself. I'm not trying to do too much and help the ball club as much as, much as I can. Um, today I was fortunate enough to get a change up up. And I put a good swing on it. We got two runs from it. So, you know, it's always nice to help the team out any way you can and, uh, I just so happened to do it again today, so it was a good feeling. All right. Did it feel good to one-up Justin Walker since you got he's platoon with them? Obviously, you had the big hit to get them going, and he had that critical double play that kept you guys ahead. So how did that feel, you know, to basically, you know, have the superior game to him today and make him, I don't know, <laughs> they're going to Purdue, but, you know, yeah. obviously you were the big part in all of it. Definitely. Justin's my guy. I miss that kid every day uh, more and more. But, um, you know, it was nice. He played well. Purdue played well. They're, they're, they're a really good team, uh, and they play with a lot of heart. But um, it was nice, you know, just helping my club any way we could. And um, it was fortunate enough that we got the, uh, the win today. So that's all that matters to me. <laughs> all right. Any more questions? Oh, yeah, Thank I've, you, Jeremy. Got, I've got one more, Scott, real quick, oh, if you don't mind. Go ahead, Tom. Um, Jeremy, um, you guys uh, – when, when everybody near the bottom of the order is, is producing like you guys all did today, you, Colin, right on down the line, you and Kip, uh, how dangerous does this make this lineup from one to nine when, when you guys are having good days too? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's very dangerous. Honestly, it was one and nine today, but honestly, we can go one to 15 at any moment. We have so many players on the bench that can hit and come in at any critical moment and get a job done. So that's, that's great to know, especially as a pitching staff, like, you know, uh, I know we haven't shown it as of lately, but uh, we're slowly producing and we're slowly getting better. So, Ishe, uh, our focus is just to come together and continue to impact our team any way we can and um, hopefully have more wins like this. 